my name is Sarah and this is Sand and Sea Tarot. Welcome to your reading Capricorn. I'm going to call this the fly on the wall reading. Um, we're going to be looking, I, I love doing these readings where we're checking from your person's point of view. So in this reading, we're going to be looking at three weaknesses that your person feels that there is in this connection. And then we're going to be looking at three strengths that this person feels you have in your connection. I'm going to pull a couple of cards for how they currently feel about you. There will be an extended for this reading and to have access to the extended, you need to join the channel membership. The channel membership is $9.99 per month and that gives you access to all the extended readings for a full 30 days. So to join the channel membership, you have to click the join button down below if you don't see it because it sometimes doesn't show up on iPads or cell phones. You'll have to click on the description box and there will be a link to the channel membership there. That's also where you will find the link for the extended reading. So let's go ahead and jump into this. So I'm using the Light Sears tarot deck here. We're going to look into what the three weaknesses are that your person feels are in this connection. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Hermit card. And we have the King of Pentacles. Okay, so I forgot to mention that this reading is intended for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. If something doesn't resonate, just go ahead and leave it. I highly recommend that you check out your other placements to see if one of the other readings resonates a little bit better. So what we have here is your person feels that one of the weaknesses in this connection is that possibly you are a little bit too emotional. You're not very in control of your emotions or they could feel as though perhaps they are not emotionally available. They are not able to express their feelings of love, but I definitely, it could be both. It could be both of those points are what this person is feeling in this connection. But, um, that is what I'm picking up is that they feel like you are too emotional and possibly that they are not revealing enough of their emotions. So that was the queen of cups. And by the way, the queen of cups is a cancer. So you could be dealing with a cancer. We have the hermit card. So the hermit card is, could be a Virgo. Um, so this is about someone is pulled back. So one of the weaknesses in this connection is that someone often, I would say, more than once, several times, has pulled back from this connection. Um, and, they, and there's this distance that's created in the connection. So this could be either you pull back, um, maybe when you aren't getting this person's attention or you feel like you're feeling very vulnerable, it's possible that you pull back from this person and you create this emotional distance. Um, this could also be your person, that your person recognizes that they can't handle the they can't handle their emotions that they feel for you. So then what do they do? They pull back. They pull back because there is some fear there. So your person also doesn't like that there is some kind of emotional distancing, possibly no communication. There might be periods of time where you just don't speak at all. And so that is a weakness that your person feels is happening with this connection, that there's a lot of emotional distancing as well as physical distancing. Another weakness here is the King of Pentacles. So this could be that, I feel like this could be your person, that your person really wants their independence. So the weakness here is that your person doesn't quite know if they want to be together in a committed relationship or marriage, you know, any of those things that would take away their independence. Um, and it feels like this person is really focused on material things, um, providing for themselves, having long-term security. So that could be a weakness too, is they feel like maybe you're not quite on the same page in that area because this person is not quite ready to give up their independence. King of Pentacles is a Taurus. Had a brain fart there for a minute. Okay, so let's just um, go ahead and look into 
what they think your strengths are in this connection. Oh. Okay, so we have a couple cards that jumped out here, so I'm gonna take them all instead of just three like I intended. Okay, so what we have here is we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So part of the strength here is this person does feel like you do, you guys do have like honest communication. Um, they feel like the communication is very direct, that there's no hidden secrets or anything. So another strength of this card could be that both of you are very analytical. You're very level-headed. You're very intelligent. That is one um, strength here is that your person feels like you both can be very level-headed that one of you is not walking around with your head up in the clouds, you know, that you're both, your feet are grounded and that um, you both can be very reasonable when you're discussing things, even if you disagree. We have the three of cups here. So your person feels like there is a very strong friendship here. There's this feeling of, you know, just really enjoying each other's presence. You love going out and doing things. I feel like this person likes that maybe perhaps you're very spontaneous, that you don't have to like plan things that you can, it could just be like at the last minute and you're ready to go off and, and do something. This part of the reading, it doesn't necessarily mean that this is happening right now. This is something that your person feels is a great uh, strength in your connection when you were together. So if you're not presently with this person, don't worry, you know, that I'm saying like you're hanging out with this person and you're like, wait a minute, I haven't seen my person in six months. It doesn't mean that. It means this person is reflecting on the times when you are together that this is one of the, your strong points is that you're very, you're very spontaneous. You don't need to make plans. He or she would just tell you, hey, let's go do this and you're up for it. So your person really likes that, that there's some spontaneity in this connection. Another strength here is I feel like you both kind of just go for it. You know what you want and you kind of just like go for it. So there's like no hesitancy, at least, you know, when you guys were together, this person felt like you guys were just, you know, spontaneous. You were just up for it. You were just ready to go. Your person feels like you were quite adventurous in this connection. Um, you could be very outdoorsy. You could have done things together together you know, hiking, camping, just outdoors activities. And that person really loved that you have that connection with them. Cause maybe since then, maybe they've had other partners that were not quite like outdoorsy or didn't appreciate as much. So there's this feeling this person likes that you like to do things outdoors together or that you just like to be active. This could also be a card of, you know, being physically fit, being active, going out and doing things together um, for the sake of being healthy. So we have this nine of pentacles here and this nine, of, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention the knight of swords is a Gemini that you could be dealing with and the nine of pentacles here. So again, this is that feeling of independence. So in the first part of the reading, that was a weakness because your person feels like, I don't know if, you know, I'm ready to be in this committed relationship because I don't want to give up my independence. Well, here it is again as a strength card. So, um, this person does like that both of you are independent. So this person does see you as very independent as well. So even though they want their independence and maybe they're, you know, contemplating whether or not they want a committed relationship, there is this feeling of they feel like you are also independent. They are independent and your person likes that, that you can be your own, your own person, that you're not reliant on anyone else. Um, you know, you don't rely on anyone to support you financially just very self-sufficient. Like you don't know, you don't even need this person and that's what they know. And that's what they appreciate is that there's not this feeling that you need them. You want them, but you don't need them. Three cards for how this person is currently feeling towards you.
The cards are jumping out. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we have the Ten of Cups. We have the Knight of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. So the current feelings, this person, they are in love with you, Capricorn. You have the Ten of Cups here. So this is the card of relationship, bliss, happiness, ultimate joy. Um, seeing this person as your forever person. This person is madly in love with you. It's a completion of love. It's like the end result of where you expect to be in a loving relationship, a loving, committed relationship. And that's what this person sees you as. They see you as their forever person. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. Knight of Pentacles could be a Virgo you're dealing with. So this is the feeling that someone, um, they're making moves towards you with like slow and steady, with a slow and steady pace. They're not in a rush. They want that slow and steady pace because they really want this connection to work. They know they only get so many chances in life, so they don't want to rush things. They really want to just take their time to establish um, this longevity to this relationship because they see you, again, they see you as like your forever person. You're their forever person. So they just want to take small, slow steps towards that. towards you. They want to be a more loyal and supportive partner to you because perhaps they weren't in the past, but there is this feeling that that's their desire is to show up as this Knight of Pentacles who is very loyal. He's trustworthy. He's reliable, but he's very slow and steady. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, so this person could feel like maybe you're, um, you're not quite as self-assured so there could be something affecting your self-confidence right now where this person is picking that up. So they um, they are very attracted to you, the Queen of Wands upright. This could be an Aries you're dealing with. Um, this person has a lot of passion towards you. They're very attracted to you, very sexually attracted to you. Um, this feels like a magnetic attraction. They, they've not been able to shake you. They're constantly thinking about you. In the reverse, the Queen of Wands can be a little bit arrogant. Um, she could be a little bit conceited. Um, or she could have like self-concept, self-esteem issues. So it's possible your person has seen a little bit of that come out where maybe you're lacking some self-esteem. Um, maybe you're being a little bit selfish and not quite seeing, you know, your person's perspective. So there could be that kind of feeling too that's coming out here. Let's just go ahead and clarify. Let's clarify that Queen of Wands in reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands here? So we have the Six of Swords here. So I feel like this energy of the Queen of Wands in reverse, I feel like maybe that was some past behavior that you had. Maybe when you were dating this person, um, Maybe you were very jealous because the Queen of Wands, she could be very jealous. Um, so there could be that feeling that you were very jealous, but your person, um, they feel like maybe you've moved on from that kind of behavior, whatever that old behavior was that they experienced with you, either having low self-esteem, which, you know, if you're jealous, you have low self-esteem because if you were very self-confident, you wouldn't be worried about anyone else. You wouldn't have to be jealous. So I feel like this person feels like maybe, maybe you've changed a little bit and you're moving away from that kind of behavior. So you're moving away from showing that you had like low self-esteem or you were jealous in the past. Let's go ahead and just clarify that Knight of Pentacles. Why the Knight of Pentacles? We have the Eight of Wands here. So this is about fast communication, um, rapid change. So it's funny because the Knight of Pentacles is absolutely the slowest night here in tarot yet you have the eight of wands which is the second fastest energy in tarot um so i feel like this person even though they may seem like it's slow and steady there is going to be some quick movement coming in here from them so if you're not in communication with this person i feel like there's going to be quick communication coming um it looks like it's going to be a lot of communication um several messages at one time is coming your way 
Um, this could also mean a rapid change. So if this person has been acting slow and steady, really standoffish or something, I feel like there's going to be a complete, you know, 180 turn from that. Your person's going to just change the way that they've been behaving or, you know, coming forward. And it's, it's, I think it's going to surprise you. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius there with the Eight of Wands and Aquarius with the Six of Swords. So in the extended, I'm going to be looking into what you don't see coming, this person's actions and intentions over the next four to six weeks towards you, and potential outcome. So yeah, thank you so much for watching Capricorn, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.